Hi guys, it's Andrew from Victory Road, bringing you part two of the January PSA customer submission return. Now, a lot of people were like, where's my cards? But I was absolutely exhausted, so I had a little sleep. I've got some coffee. I'll be drinking that during this reveal, as you just heard there. So let's just get on with it, shall we? Now, in the previous video, I did miss out two cards. Now, these belong to Chris Phone, and they are both Charizard Prisms, as you can see. Well, you can't really see. But these, as you can see, didn't get graded because there wasn't enough information on the PSA system. When we file cards with PSA, we enter the card details as best possible. And, well, basically, we enter it ourselves. If PSA would agree with the information we've entered, they will grade the card. Now, obviously, they didn't have enough information this time around, or in previous attempts, so they've gone ungraded. But we will keep trying with these. So yeah, that's them. Those belong to Chris Phone. So we'll put those over there with this pile. And we'll get on with some new cards that we haven't seen yet. So... We're going to start off with Richard Svensson. Now, as you can see, there's quite the pile. So I'm just going to go through them all, like in the previous video. <clears throat> okay, so, first card. Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. It got a PSA 10. Now, this one's called Test Tube Mewtwo, with a nickname. So... There we go. So that's first card. Next card is another Mewtwo from Shining Legends. This one got a PSA 9, as you can see. So there, next card. Now we'll start with some fire. We'll have the Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. Would have been nice to see it in a 10, but it got an 8 instead. This one's from Burning Shadows. And is a secret rare. Or hyper rare as some people call them. Next card. Is a first edition Typhlosion. From the Neo Genesis set. And it got a PSA 8. Next card. Is a Suicune. First edition. From Neo Revelations. Now this one got a PSA 6. But still a beautiful card. And you can just about make my face in there. But we don't want to see that. God no. <laughs> Next card. A first edition Koga's Ditto. From Gym Challenge. And it got a PSA 9. Very good. Just going to have a drink in the coffee. The last video, I was uh, coughing quite a bit. I think I might be coming down with something. So I'm just going to keep up with the fluids. And make sure I don't go all... <coughs> like in the last video. So yeah, next card is a Pikachu. Uh, it is a... Black Star promo, uh, SM81, and it got a PSA 9. Very good. Next card. Chansey from the McDonald's collection. And it got a PSA 8. Very good. Oh, we've, looks like we've got a, another McDonald's card here. With a Magneton. Very nice, and it got a PSA 9. Next card is an Eevee from the McDonald's collection, like the last one. And this one got a PSA 8. Next card is a Machop from the McDonald's collection, and it got a PSA 7. I found one of those McDonald's cards in the street last year. I should actually grade it, see what it got. 
or what it gets rather. Next card, a Shining Mewtwo from Neo Destiny. Very nice, and it got a PSA 7. Next card is a first edition Shining Kabutops from Neo Destiny. Very nice, and it got a PSA 7. Next card, a Shining Celebi from Neo Destiny. Very good, you don't see these often. And it got a PSA 8. Very nice. Next card is a first edition Houndoom. That's quite hard to see the first edition stamp, but I'll bring it closer so you can see. There we go. This one's from Neo Discovery, and it got a PSA 9. I think this one's the best video out of the two, to be honest. I'm a lot more alert and awake. I apologise to those guys whose cards I showed in the previous video. Next card is a Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions. And it got a PSA 10. Very good. Just stack that on there. Now, I'm going to show these next two cards as a pair. I'm sure you can assume what they are as a pair, or what they could be, but here we go. It's a Lugia Legends from Heart Gold Soul Silver, and they both got PSA 8. And as you can see, the numbers are corresponding, so that's good. We do do that, by the way. If you want your cards to be in corresponding numbers, just let us know, and we'll pair them up. So they go together. Very good. Next card is a Gyarados from base set 2. And it got a PSA 8. Very nice. Next card is a Gyarados from the base set. And this one got a 7. Excellent. Or should I say, near mint, as it says on the slab. Next card is a secret rare unit energy from Ultra Prism. And it got a PSA 9. Next card is a Shining Lugia from Shining Legends. Yeah, that's right. Shining Legends Premium Collection, as it says there. And it got a PSA 10. Very nice. <clears throat> Next card is another Lu uh, Shining Lugia from Shining Legends. And it got another PSA 10. Very good. Next card is a Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends, and it got a PSA 10. Next card is another Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends. Oh, we can hear the ice cream van over there. Shall I run out and get one? No, I don't want to do that. Anyway, so yeah. Jirachi from Shining Legends, and it got a PSA 10. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hope I don't get a copyright claim because of that. <laughs> that would be funny. Next card is a Jirachi, a Shining Jirachi, sorry, from Shining Legends, and it got a PSA 9. So we have. Two tens and then a nine. Next card is a Shining Gen Genesect from Shining Legends. There's the pattern work on that. Very good. And it got a PSA 9. Nice. 
I'm going to start a second pile because that one's getting quite high. Next card is a Shining Arceus from Shining Legends and it got a PSA 8. Next card is a Shining Volcanion from Shining Legends and it got a PSA 8. So we've got 10s, 9s and 8s. Next card is another Shining Volcanion and this one is from Shining Legends as well and it got a PSA 9. Excellent. That's just my uh, sleeve there blocking the camera. Let's try not to do that. Next card Shining Rayquaza from Shining Legends and it got a PSA 7. Next card is a Shining Mew. Now I made a mistake in the last video and called a Mew a Mewtwo. That was stupid. But here we go. A Shining Mew from Shining Legends and it got a PSA 9. Next card is another Shining Mew from Shining Legends and it got a PSA 9. Next card, now this one is my personal favourite out of this pile because it is a legendary beast. It is Entei GX from Shining Legends, Rainbow Rare and it got a PSA 10 which I'm very pleased about. Richard, feel free to give this to me. I'll take good care of it. <laughs> Next card is a Shining... Uh, sorry, a Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. This one is a Secret Rare. I didn't actually know that, but there we go. So it's Secret Rare, and it got a PSA 8. And to finish Richard's submission off, pretty much how we started. Let's have a look. Yep, exactly how we started. With a Mewtwo GX Secret Rare from Shining Legends. And it got a PSA 10, just like the one at the beginning of, the, uh, beginning of Richard's submission. So that's very good, isn't it? Okay. So I'll just pop those over there with the already videoed ones and we will get on with hmm let's see <clears throat> we'll get Alan out of the way next because he's in bed or trying to go to bed let me just check yep that's his pile so we'll move those to that side let me camera refocus so this is Alan Hayden's submission and the first card is a first edition Zapdos from Fossil Set and it got a PSA 9. Very nice. I'll just pop that to the side there. The next card is Venusaur from Base Set and it got a PSA 10. Now, this card, well, all of these cards, actually, I had to place them under a really heavy weight because they had a big curve to them. Now, the curves can occur when there's excessive heat. So, that's obviously what's happened, and it was fixed, and there we go. We've got a PSA 10. So, yeah, if, you, if anyone has any cards that are like warped, curved, curved over, they can be fixed, but you've just got to leave them under a really heavy weight. I suggest a, bu a book without a texture, and it'll do it absolutely justice. So there we go. PSA 10 Venusaur from base set. Next card is Polyrath, or Guapo, as this one's called in German. It's first edition, and it got a PSA 9. Very nice. 
next card. Now, I think this one might be the lowest grade amongst um, the whole lot. Barring the fact that we've got some ungraded, we'll ignore those. So yeah, first next card is a Charizard from base set. And it got a PSA 4. So there we go. Alan, I hope you're pleased with that. Next card is a first edition Nido King in German. And it got a PSA 9. Very good. Next card is a first edition Magneton in German again. And it got a PSA 9. Now this is my first time seeing German base set cards. And I've got to say, I like them. Except the name for Polyrath because that makes me giggle a little bit. Because I think it was either American Dad or Family Guy. They made a little sketch with something called Guapo. Which from now on I'm just going to call it Polyrath. <laughs> Next card is a first edition German Gyarados from base set. And it got a PSA 8. Very nice. Next card is a Shining Gyarados from Neo Revelation. Now this one isn't first edition, but never mind. And it got a PSA 9. So there we go. Oh, we had a little shake there. Ooh. Next card is a first edition Raichu in German. And it got a PSA 9. Very nice. I'll take this one, right, Alan? Yeah? You don't mind, do you? Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Next card is a first edition Articuno. This one isn't in German. It's from the Fossil set and it got a PSA 8. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm just going to have a drink of my coffee. You should do the same. Get yourselves a coffee. Uh, sit down. Relax. I'm trying to relax more often while doing these videos. The first couple of videos I was like, oh my god. But now it's it's easy. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's carry on. So, next card is first edition Hitmonchan. Or in German it's called Nokchan. Which I kind of like. And it got a PSA 9. Very good. Next card, and the final card of Alan's pile, is a first edition Zapdos from the base set, and it got a PSA 9. So there we go. Hope Alan's satisfied with that. <coughs> okay, so I think we'll do a smaller pile now. We will do Stephen Wardle. Now, Stephen sent three cards for grading. Um, I believe it was his first time grading. And I nailed the pre-screening, apparently. I can't remember what I said about these cards, but anyway. First card is a Pikachu from the Quiz Rally. And it got a PSA 9. Very nice. So, yeah. That's good. Next card is a Charizard from base set. Seeing this quite often, as we always will. And it got a PSA 7. Excuse me. Just a little burp there. And the last card of Stephen's pile is a Palpad from the School Fester 2018. Uh, Sun and Moon promo 
and it got a PSA 9. So there we go. So that's the end of Stephen's submission there. Now we will do... Let's see... We'll do Ricky Tate next. Okie dokie. So, first card is Brock's Grit from Evolutions. And it got a PSA 9. Very good. Next card is a Verizon GX. Very good. From Lost Thunder. And it got a PSA 10. Excellent. We like that. Next card is a Mimikyu GX. Now, what is underneath this costume? Does anybody know? Will we ever know? I don't know, but that is clearly a Pikachu. <laughs> anyway, so... Mimikyu GX from Lost Thunder, and it got a PSA 9. So there we go. Next card is a Mewtwo EX from Evolutions, and it got a PSA 10. Uh, this one is not a secret rare, despite it being gold, but it's very nice. I had four of these at one point. Next card is a Shadowless Raichu uh, from the base set, and it got a PSA 8. Very nice. Next card is a Mega Venusaur EX from Evolutions, and it got a PSA 10. Very good. And the final card from Ricky's submission is Misty's Determination from Evolutions. And it got a PSA 10. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Okie dokie. Move those out the way. Let's see who these belong to. Where's my paperwork gone? There it is. Okay, so we have six, nine, seven. Please bear with me a moment. I'm just double checking who these belong to. Uh, six, nine, seven. So it's Martin Gimbert. Alright, so Martin sent in four cards for grading. And we'll start with a Mega Blastoise EX from Generations. Very nice. And it got a PSA 10. Excellent. Next card is a Flareon EX with Vaporeon and Jolteon in the background from the Radiant Collection from Generations. So, as you can see, I'll bring those closer. They have different set numbers, despite being part of the same set symbol. Okay. So, yeah, that one got a PSA 9. Very good. Now, we have another one of those. So, there's another Flareon EX from Radiant Collection. And that one also got a PSA 9. And the last card from Martin's send-off, or submission, if you want to call it that, is a Secret Rare Acrobike from Celestial Storm. And it got a PSA 10. So, we're, I think we're pleased with that. We've got two 10s and two 9s. Very good. Okie dokie. Right, how many piles we got left? One, two, three, four, five. I'll save the biggest till the end. Because we're starting to run out of time a little bit. 
So, I will do two more piles in this video, and then we'll call it at that. And then you'll have to tune in for part three for the last three piles. I'll move that out of the way. There we go. So, let's check who these belong to first. We've got 695. Six nine five. So that belongs to Nathan Howell. He submitted two cards. So let's go. First card is a Dark Dragonite from the Silver Deck Kit. That's I think that's Team Silver. There we go. And it got a PSA ten. So that's nice. Look at the shine on that. Very glittery. Very good. And the final card from Nathan's submission is a base set Chansey and it got a PSA 8. So there we go. You can see my head on that. Ah. Alright, so I'm going to call it there folks. Oh wait, no I'm not. I've still got one more pile left, sorry. Here's me trying to cut and run on you. That's no good, is it? So, the final pile. Uh, these one, there is six cards here. I'll just double check who they belong to before I go ahead. Six, eight, nine. <clears throat> six, eight, nine. Is... Eight, nine. Uh, GR. Is that Gary Riley? I'm not sure. It might be. Let's have a look. Anyway, Gary, if these cards are yours, just leave us a comment in the underneath this video. I think they are yours. Anyway, so first card is a Nido King from base set, PSA 8, showing my head in the background again, we don't want that, very nice, don't know why I'm showing you the back there, next card is a Rocket Scissor, a winner, badged, as you can see. Now this is part of the best series, or best of the game. And it got a PSA 10. Very nice. Next card is a Polyrath from the Pokemon 20th Anniversary set. Japanese. Or, what's it say there? CP6. There we go. And it got a PSA 10. Excellent. Running out of space on my desk. Next card is a Nine Tails from Base Set. And it got a PSA 9. Excellent. Next card is a Charizard from Evolutions. And it got a PSA 8. Very good. And the last card of GR's pile, which I'm assuming is Gary Riley at this point. I think it is. But never mind. There we go. It is a Japanese Jungle Electrode. It's not first edition, no. And it got a PSA 7. There we go. So, that's the end of part two. Join us again for part three, and we'll have three more piles to go through. Um, those are 
Tom Snoop, Andrew Jones, and Richard Finemore. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos in the future, hit the subscribe button. I know I keep droning on about that, but it, it allows me to gauge whether you actually enjoy the videos or not. So, yeah. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.